Some were thrown into buildings or wedged between structures. The twister's rotation began to wobble as it neared Tinker Air Force Base. The base had been placed on full alert after the tornado emergency was issued. Military aircraft had been moved to safety earlier in the day, but the base's outer areas still sustained damage. Several non-hardened structures near the perimeter were torn apart. Housing units on the edge of the base were hit, though base officials later confirmed there were no fatalities within the installation. As the tornado approached the eastern edge of Oklahoma City, its width was still measured at nearly one mile across. Rain wrapped and difficult to see in the fading light, it remained a serious threat. Weather, spotters, and storm chasers followed at a safe distance documenting the storm's continuing power. The tornado's winds were no longer at their earlier peak, but they remained intense enough to collapse homes, snap steel poles, and fling debris over long distances. It moved at around 30 miles per hour, 